Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're anything like me and you absolutely have to have the latest and greatest in, well, just about anything, you're gonna love this next mod. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take foreskin and turn your 2021 to 2024 Ford Bronco into a 2025 model year. Well, at least as far as the center screen is concerned. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now with foreskin. What you're gonna need is your OBD module interface and your trusty laptop. Let's get started. Of course, if none of this makes any sense to you and you've never used Foreskin before, I recommend you go check out the video. I'll leave a link in the description below. I do a deep, deep dive on the Foreskin and the onboard diagnostics protocol, and you can learn a lot there. So check that out, then come back to this video. The one cool thing about Ford, and I've talked about this before, is how they take uh, certain components and modules and share them across all their platforms. Um, Take the headlight switch, for example, in the Ford Bronco, you'll find the same headlight switch in the F-150, uh, probably all the F-series trucks for that matter, uh, uh, Escape, uh, the Edge. It's just a cost-saving measure that Ford uses. So when it comes to modules, a lot of the same modules are used hardware-wise in different vehicles. And as far as the software is concerned, you're going to see similarities in there as well. For example, when it comes to the module that controls the entertainment center stack, um, you'll find the same Ford design language over multiple platforms. Uh, the only differences you might find are the Mustang and Lincoln have their own design language, as it were, their own themes. So when it comes to Ford doing it like a design refresh on, say, the 2025 Ford Bronco, but there isn't a hardware update to the modules, you'll see that software updated over the air across all the previous model years. This is basically what I'm going to do in my Bronco today with Forescan. Um, the module is updated recently and it includes the new 2025 model year Bronco uh, center stack theme. Uh, it's just not enabled on the older Broncos. Fortunately for us, this new theme is accessible by using Forescan to change the option of the media module. And thank God, because I was getting pretty tired looking at this old familiar theme in my Bronco. So open up Foreskin on your laptop and click on the connect icon on the bottom left. If you've used Foreskin before, the connection configuration should be automatic and you should have a saved profile. Click on the yes prompt to load the last profile used and wait a minute while it reads the Bronco's modules and populates the screen. To get to the module configuration screen, click on this chip icon on the left option tab. Once Forescan is done reading, this programming screen will populate with all the readable modules like so. The specific module we want to modify is the APIM module. You'll see two versions listed, this one and the as-built one. The non-as-built one is the plain English version and that's the one we want. To access it, we need to click on the play button at the bottom left. You'll get a warning prompt about the sync module version, which doesn't concern us as we're not flashing any new software to the module only changing what's already available to us. Once the module is read, it will list the literally hundreds of parameters programmed into it. To make our job a little easier, use the search filter box option, type in the word theme, and you'll see the module option for QT human machine interface themes. Click on it and then click on edit selected on the bottom left of the screen and we'll be presented with the available options. The standard version for the older than 2025 model year Fords is the classic version highlighted here. The new version we want is called Smart Surface. Click on it and then click the checkbox and again on the bottom left this time we're going to click on the right button. The dialog box that pops up will confirm our old and new settings. Click the checkbox once again and the progress bar at the bottom will indicate the progress of the right. Once written to the module, we're prompted to cycle the vehicle ignition. Turn the ignition off and then back on, and before the new screen can be displayed, we need to force a reboot of the audio system. Do this by holding down both the power and the next track buttons together until the boot screen reappears. And now the new 2025 Ford Smart Surface screen is enabled. 
if it could just be me, but it definitely feels a little more responsive than the old theme. The changes are subtle, but in my opinion, nicer than before. It kind of suits the theme on the gauge cluster better than the old one as well. This is obviously the daylight screen, and now the nighttime version. Well, that's it. Pretty simple, right? A little tweak like that and you get like a refresh and almost like a new vehicle again. Um, if you're new to Forescan, this is your first time playing around with it. This is probably one of the better ones, one of the simpler ones to get your feet wet with. I think going forward, I'm going to probably do a whole series of these Forescan videos. Little tiny tweaks, little things I find inside the software, inside the Bronco that you can, you know, change, customize, modify. If you're looking forward to seeing more videos like this one, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, you won't miss any updates. And uh, I guess that's it for today. We'll see you again here on the Lonely Overlander. Take care.